So this short video is about the working ground in meditation, or another way of putting that is working in meditation. Now, <coughs> it can be very easy to approach meditation initially when one's new to it, as one is wanting to get somewhere. And this might be just a continuation of the way that you live your life. You, you do things to get something or to get somewhere. Now, not everyone has this approach very strongly, uh, but some people do. And to the degree that you have this approach, when you come into meditation, you really need to look at it and, and in some way put it aside. Because the, the process of meditation is very different. It's based on working from where you are. So when you sit down to meditate, you do have some general intentions, but they're all about coming into experience and working from that experience, rather than trying to get somewhere where you think you should be. So on the basis of these ba basic intentions, to be present and live to your experience and to work from there. The, the implication is that you enter into the meditation with no assumptions. So you sit down and you just notice what is here. First of all, a very good way of starting the meditation is just to ask what come into a whole sense of myself sitting here. What's it like just to sit here? All the feelings, the qualities, the sensations, the energy, the, what's going on in my mind. Just come into it and notice the whole range of your experience. This is a very good way of undermining assumptions. Assumptions can be sometimes based on something that's real, but interpreted as being the whole story. So uh, you might be a bit tired, for example, and you might say, oh, this meditation is going to be a washout because I'm really exhausted. But actually, that's just an assumption. You might be tired, but underneath the tiredness, there might be a real sense of excitement and aspiration to practice, and that will come to the fore. So in this basic approach of a working ground, there's always something to work with. Now it's, might, it might be very positive, it might be, have a quality of being expansive and developmental, or it might be something that's obsessive and taking you away into old habitual thoughts. Whichever of those two basic approaches are, are operating, that's your working ground. You're always working with what is here. So it can change. It can develop. Now, I think that very generally, there is a lot to be said for a positive outlook which means that you, you look for the positive and if the positive is there, you acknowledge it and you embrace it. So if in the context of that, you also notice difficulties, obsessions, uh, distractions, little stories that you're telling yourself or fantasies, they can be there, but you're always stretching that to include something that has the quality of development, the quality of positivity in some way, of openness and engagement and being here. So rather than sort of the working ground just emphasizing and closing down on the negative, it takes it into consideration, but it stretches 
to actually see a bigger context, a wider context of what is here. And that then allows for a dynamic, a relationship between the, the process of being more present, alive, more positive, clearer, and the, the parts of yourself which want to go around in circles, be habitual, close down, don't want to know, uh, in, in all its various manifestations and forms. So this dynamic or this relationship actually uh, over time the, the developmental will prevail. It will dissolve that tendency to not to want to know, not want to be here. And your energies will kind of unfold over time. So just to recap, having a working ground is done on the basis of the general intention to be present and alive to your experience and to work with it. That includes being open to the whole range of what is helpful uh, in being present and positive and what is unhelpful in being present and positive. And in that range, you're always in some way putting everything in the context of the presence, the awareness and the positivity. Everything is in that context and in, in relationship to it. So in that way, over time, the tendencies to close down and be disengaged or be away are transformed and converted, you could say, by the momentum to be more real, more present and more positive.